Let's compare the force curve of a good paddler compared to an average paddler. How does the better paddler get instant force? Perhaps the average paddler plonks the paddle in, then pulls it back, whereas the better paddler gets a running start. How does an elite paddler get a running start? Well, we've looked at the X factor where we try to engage the pectorals and create a stretch reflex to allow us to increase the velocity of the paddle as it enters the water. Another method would be to use a higher arm action that engages the pectorals and the lats and get more of a throw to increase the velocity of the paddle as it enters the water. So when you look at paddlers with the top arm straight, I'm measuring that the paddle is entering the water at best at 10 degrees, which is almost vertical. Compared to 34 degrees with a bent arm, which matches Gomori's study. But there's another thing to consider as well. Imagine trying to throw a ball with an arm straight compared to with a bent elbow. You're going to get a far higher throwing velocity with a bent arm. Same with the paddle. You're going to get a far faster paddle entry with the bent arm. So in conclusion, with the bent arm you're going to get a better paddle entry angle and a higher paddle entry velocity, a double whammy.